Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. Today I'm gonna have you get ready with me and then we're going to go to my hormone specialist appointment. It's already been five months since I got my bioidentical hormone pelvic testosterone therapy thing. So we're gonna have a checkup and see what all we need to do. So as I get ready today, I'm gonna tell you what's been kind of going on and whatnot. Fill you in. Okay, well first things first, I got to wash my face, so. So I've been washing my face with this Duval scrubber face brush thing and it's been working wonders. So I did have the exfoliant one on there, I'm gonna switch off. It does come with all these brushes, so you get the body brush, you get the cleansing brush, so this is what I'm gonna put on right now, it just snaps right on. And it also comes with a foot scrubber brush. So this is like perfect for like your heels and elbows. It didn't come in this pouch, I just kind of that and so now I just put the cleansing brush on. I do use Curology as my little face cleanser. It just gets in the pores, it gets all that leftover dirt and makeup off your face. I love that it just makes your skin feel smooth and bright after. It's actually kind of like therapeutic and comforting. It always makes my eyebrows freaking crazy. And right now they are doing a 70% off so I'm gonna leave that link and my code in the description down below. So if you are in need of a little face scrubber brush thing, definitely go check them out. 75% off, well worth it, especially with all the brushes that you get. Ooh, okay. Okay, all clear. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my makeup and fill you in on what has been going. On. Okay, so pretty much if you're new here, five months ago I got the bioidentical hormone replacement therapy because my testosterone was non-existent. So if you want to hear like in detail stuff about that, I'll put the card up here so you can check that out. But quick overview, um, my hormone level. So testosterone in women is supposed to be about 100. I don't know how exactly they measure this, but it's supposed to be 100 of something. And, and my levels were 23. 23 when it's supposed to be 100. And I'm a, I was 20 at the time, just turned 29 year old girl. That should not be happening at my age. It was crazy. When they put me in the system of like how much uh, testosterone should be in the pellets, it thought that I was a 65 year old woman going through menopause. So, uh, needless to say, those pellets definitely did the trick. I needed to do the pellets instead of just injections or pills or anything like that because I needed to get from 23 up to 100 pretty quick. Um, it was a roller coaster. So, at month three is when I went back and got my hormone levels tested again. And, and when we looked at the numbers, my testosterone was 140 something, which is super good. So, the average is like one just 100s in general. So 140 was really good, but it definitely explains why I was freaking crazy. I swear for like five weeks, the first five weeks of getting the pellet was, I was a totally different person. I was just like, I had some anger issues. The biggest challenge I feel like was the fact that I felt more self-conscious and like I was pretty bad at comparing myself to others. And it's very weird to me because I don't, I'm really pretty good about doing that and it turns out it's more so just a hormone level that made me really good at not comparing myself and not being so hypercritical, I guess, just being naturally more confident. So it was really weird to adjust to comparing myself to everyone. Like social media became like kind of difficult and just like annoying. And I just never understood that before. That was just a very foreign concept to me. So now I get it. Um, so I will say that it was the roughest part about this. Um, my boyfriend did say I was less passive. So if something bothered me, it was like, ooh, I was gonna really speak up about it. And what else? Physically, body-wise, I feel like my body doesn't hold so much water, my weight doesn't fluctuate as much. Like I, like the summer, I have not been sticking to like my meal prep, which I normally don't. <laughs> But, and I haven't been working out as much as I wanted to because we got Pup and Pup needs more attention. So my meal prep and working out when normally I'm like pretty strict was very lenient, but my body has been holding a 133 like a freaking champ. And normally for me to stay at 133, I have to be like 
eating right and working out like semi-regularly. So the fact that it's holding that is a really good sign and I do think that's definitely just the higher testosterone. So that's kind of a cool plus. Negatives that I realized from testosterone is like I said, kind of the wider range of emotions, specifically the negative emotions, that has taken some time to adjust to. Also, I have to shave way more frequently, which is really annoying, and definitely took some adjusting to. Like all of a sudden, I would like look at my armpits and like, ah, I need to shave. So that was a little embarrassing, but I got used to it. We're doing good now. Uh, sweat, I'm sweating more. That's not fun. I used to sweat a ton when I was a kid though, so I'm at least kind of more used to that. So I was also a lot hairier as a kid too, so that's just making sense of how my testosterone was so low. Oh, I don't need to do mascara right now. I feel like after five weeks, my body finally reached a level that was really good. I had higher libido, like if you watched my first video, that was kind of the main reason why I went in. Um, I'm not as fatigued. I don't feel like the crazy energy that you hear a lot of women talk about. Like a lot of women, they say they get these uh, pellets and it's like, oh, they can run great off of, you know, three, four hours of sleep. Mm, your girl still needs her sleep. So that is not me. So my levels went from 23, super low, three months in, 143, and then because my levels were doing good, it was in that hundreds range, we didn't end up going to do, I didn't have my official specialist follow up. Instead I called them and they just said, your levels are good, let's check again in five weeks and see how they're doing. So that's what the appointment is for today. I'm going to go, I don't know what my levels are, so I'm gonna go and see how they're doing. And it's actually gonna be really good to have that timeline of like, I know five weeks ago, I was at 143, so what am I at now? Because it'll be really interesting to see how high my levels were when I felt like I was just like a raging female monster. <laughs> so that'll be good to have reference. Okay, so I was totally off on all my levels. Definitely gotta update you guys. However, I am nervous because I don't think, I don't think I wanna do the pellet thing again. If my levels are still in that 100 range or very close to it, I think I wanna try just to do the testosterone injections. I think that'll be better. I don't know if they do like pills for it, but starting the new school year, having new kiddos, I'm now gonna be a teacher lead. There's gonna be some stresses on me that I would rather have my usual level head about instead of like worrying about things setting me off because I can't control it. I'm really good at like thinking logically about if something's making me mad, I think logically about it, I'm able to kind of like calm down. But with this, it was totally different. Like things that I know would be kind of annoying, I'm like livid. I'm getting ready to Hulk smash some things. And even knowing, Tay, this would normally just annoy you. It shouldn't be making you this angry. It's probably hormones, you need to calm down. Can't, that's what I'm feeling. There's no calming it down. The gym was honestly like my best friend. Testosterone is a hell of a drug. Me and my boyfriend even joked about me like roiding out because just certain things would make me so mad. So for example, one time I was, uh, you know the drawers in the refrigerator? Of course you do. One of them came out and I was trying to just get it back in. And I couldn't get it back in. And I was getting so frustrated that I literally just like threw it on the ground and I was like, I'm out, I gotta go, I gotta go take a shower, I gotta do something. And my boyfriend was like, babe's right now. And I was like, I know. Leave me alone, give me a minute. I'm just not, I'm just not looking forward to feeling that so I'm washing my hands because I buy a shadow on them. Um, I just don't want to feel that, you know, and I don't want my kids to kind of, I don't want them to have to experience that side and it's just kind of, like I said, it's hard to control. I think this time around I'd be a little better and this time around it wouldn't be as high because really we're trying to get me from a 23 to 100 like real quick. So that explains why it was brutal. Well, that shouldn't be happening. Now if I did the pellets, it should be a lower dose. And I would hope that if we knew five weeks and now, I'd be able to tell them I was crazy for the first five weeks and they should be able to kind of figure out where my levels were to hopefully avoid those levels. I will say after the five weeks, I did reach like a normal like level and that was really good. Because at the same time, I got over that super uh, comparing feeling down about myself and instead even though I'm like a pretty naturally confident person there was a certain level of confidence that like I hadn't experienced before so I guess with the real lows that I've experienced I've also experienced like some really good highs so that is what happens I guess when your hormones are normal 
Um, but yeah, still adjusting. Eyeliner, I can't talk during eyeliner, so you're gonna have to just like bear with me. My bronzer is e.l.f. as well. That's just kind of like my go-to. I feel like it's like not too expensive. Okay, if you have more questions about this bioidentical hormone therapy, definitely comment down below. If you're kind of shy about it, go ahead and DM me over on Instagram. I am an open book when it comes to this stuff. Ask me anything, I'll be real with you. Cause I totally get feeling like something's off, but not knowing what. And again, like I said, there's not very many young people talking about it or experiencing it. I don't know. So I'm here for you. And I did have quite a few women asking like, how did you know, what would you tell your doctor, how'd you go about it? And luckily my doctor is amazing. I It took me a long time to find this doctor that I really like, but he just listens. He listens to me, gets it. And so I just went and told him like, hey, like I'm experiencing, like I said, fatigue, low motivation, um, very low non-existent libido, and I just, want to get my hormones checked and see if I'm having hormone issues and he's like absolutely no problem so he just did a basic hormone panel so if you don't know what to say go ask your doctor can I have a hormone panel don't let them tell you that they don't do it because they freaking do it okay because I've had some friends say oh I went and I asked them for a hormone panel and they said that they don't do it lies yes they do I don't know if maybe insurance might not cover as much or what but they definitely do it and it's definitely worth getting checked out. I also highly, highly recommend getting your hormones checked before getting on any mental health medication, okay? It's just, it affects everything. How you interpret things, how you react, how you feel about yourself and about your surroundings, literally everything. So go get it checked. If your levels are normal, then cool, good for you. Then get on that medication, but don't get on that medication if you don't know what's actually going on inside your body. Not to discredit anything about mental health. Like I said, I used to be on anxiety and depression medication. I get it. But now I'm curious to how much of that, well, like it was situational. It was understandable to why I was anxious and depressed. But how much of it, was there anything added to it because I had low testosterone? If I had low testosterone then, when did I start getting low testosterone? I have no idea. But I am not a doctor. This is just my experience, what I've been going through, and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Now we are done. I'm not gonna touch my hair. I just leave it, let it do its thing. All right, let's get dressed and then I'm gonna go to the specialist. Okay, so I was totally off on all my levels. Definitely gotta update you guys. But we are getting ready to do the pellet procedure again, so I will keep you posted. Man, do I gotta fill you guys in. Okay, so again, going over my levels. Very first time I came in, levels were 23. Then after three months, I got him checked, 141. Do one good. He said, let's wait five weeks because your levels are on point. Waited five weeks. In that five weeks, my levels have dropped down to 43. So still not as low as 23, we've doubled since that. But to drop from 141 to 43 in just five weeks, crazy. But now that I think about it, like I did notice like a big difference between like five weeks ago when I got it done and then this one because I don't know, I just remember thinking like, yeah, I don't feel like that pep in my step kind of thing. You know, um, again, big drop in libido at this point. It is currently non-existent. Um, again, close to where I was in the beginning. So this all makes sense. So what he decided to do was I told him I was a straight up crazy person the first five weeks that I got that procedure done. I wanted to run people off the road. I was crying at everything. Go back and check my first video if you would like to see the mess that I was. So I told him I didn't feel like being a crazy lady, so I don't want to be as high. So the dose he gave me last time when I was at level 23, he gave me 112 milligrams of 
the testosterone or whatever that is. So this time, my levels are 43, and he gave me 85 milligrams of whatever. So that's going to hopefully give me that boost that I need, but not get me to crazy lady level, so that's the goal. But he said that if I feel, after four to six weeks, if I don't feel like that pep in my step kind of boost, then I can come in and get a boost, and he'll give me like 25 milligrams. So we're just trying to find that sweet spot for me to maintain. Okay, sorry, I feel like sweaty and jittery. I think it's the epinephrine. So, so to do the procedure, they numb you with lidocaine and then they do a little slice and inject, but the injection is kind of like a big thing because they gotta put the pellets, which are like a grain of rice. I feel like I'm out of breath. Then they hit you with the epinephrine to kind of boost you back up. And last time I almost passed out, this time I didn't pass out, so I'm thinking last time I was probably just like really freaking out because I didn't expect to have that procedure done last time and then I just jumped and went for it. This time I kind of knew what to expect, so it was okay. But I still feel sweaty, a little jittery, so whatevs. Um, can't work out for five days, can't shower for 48 hours. I'll show you the um, patch thingamajig of like where it, the procedure's done whenever I get home. I'm not gonna peel it off though, because again, it was like just done, but maybe if I'm like still editing within the 48 hours, I'll do a quick clip of me like pulling it off so you can see if there is an incision, I don't know. I think I waited like three or four days last time because I was like just too afraid to take it off and see anything. <laughs> okay, well, now that I know I'm not gonna pass out, that's also why I was deciding to film my car right now. Let's drive home and I'll show you the damage. <laughs> okay, so just got home. Now I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm gonna show you my bandage. It is like on like a weird, like, it's literally like right here. Okay, so that's what we're working with. I will definitely keep you posted on how I feel the next four to six weeks because that's when I'll know whether I'm doing good or I need a little booster. If you want to stay tuned on the day-to-day, -day, go follow me on Instagram, teach me something good. Otherwise, I'll try to get a video up here about my hormones in probably four to six weeks, okay? Okay, so I'm probably gonna go take a nap, but if you like this video, you found it helpful, informative, whatever, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.